a cosmic freak, why our solar system is unique. The universe is a bizarre and fascinating place, littered with objects and forces we may never come to understand. Yet, even in the context of the cosmos, our solar system stands out as being very strange indeed. For a start, there is this one planet three blocks over from the sun that's covered in weird hairless apes that love to burn things and murder each other, sometimes both, if they're in the mood. But life isn't the only thing that marks us out. Having studied other exoplanetary systems, we have recently learned that our solar system is very different from others, and this may be one of the main reasons why we exist at all. So let's find out just how individual we really are as we explore a cosmic freak, why our solar system is unique. How it formed. In recent weeks, we've seen some mind-blowing images of early solar system formations courtesy of the European Southern Observatory. Observations like this may help us to understand how most solar systems form, but there are still a few blanks when it comes to explaining the genesis of our own cosmic backyard. The origin story goes like this. Around 4.5 billion years ago, a concentrated area of gas and dust invaded each other's personal space to form a molecular cloud. Things were pretty chilly back then, so the gas huddled together for warmth creating regions of increasing density which then collapsed under their own gravity. From this formed a protostar, and further gravitational collapses continue to add to its mass, turning it into the total beefcake star we know and love today. While the sun was bulking up, a large disk of material formed around it. This material could have been swallowed by our greedy young star, but thankfully its voice had just broken and it instead discovered fusion. As a result, an outburst of stellar winds prevented the material which would later form Earth, Jupiter, and your best friend Timmy from being dragged back inwards to oblivion. This ring of material surrounded our Sun for a hundred million years, and it is here where scientists diverge as to how exactly the planets formed. Core accretion theory is the most commonly accepted explanation, as it suggests that gravity caused small particles to clump together with solar winds dispersing light elements like helium and hydrogen away from the regions closest to the Sun. This would explain why rocky planets like Earth and Mars form towards the center, whereas gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn do so at a greater distance, where the solar winds have less of an effect on the lightest elements. There are several flaws within this explanation which competing theories have tried to account for, not least the presence of Jupiter and Saturn. Core accretion theory seems to make sense according to other exoplanetary systems we've witnessed, but in our solar system, core accretion fails to give the gas giants enough time to have formed. However, in January this year, an international team of researchers may have discovered a solution, because it turns out that our solar system of mismatched planets is a bit of a freak. Odd one out. We live in a unique solar system whose formation may be rare within the cosmos. This is the conclusion of a team led by astrophysicist Lauren Weiss, based on observations of exoplanet systems discovered by the Kepler telescope. In a paper published in June 2017 but revised earlier this year, Weiss and her colleagues measured size differences between planets within systems containing three or more worlds. 909 planets belonging to 355 systems were observed, and it was noticed that most exoplanets seemed to be of a similar size to those within the same star system. Likewise, the distance at which these planets orbit their parent star also seems consistent, spreading out across regular intervals, with the paper's title alluding to this uniformity by describing them as peas in a pod. It seems that the universe likes order and conformity, creating systems composed either of several small planets or several large ones, rarely a mixture of the two. That makes us different. Our solar system is very special indeed, and not in a bad way that requires us to be banned from using scissors. This uniqueness is illustrated perfectly by the fact that Mercury, our smallest planet, has a radius of over 2,400 kilometers. 
This is 29.3 times smaller than the radius of Jupiter, our largest planet, which stands just a touch under 70,000 kilometers. According to the findings of Lauren Weiss and her team, this discrepancy is not normal. It's like seeing a family composed of a short white mother, an averagely tall white father, and a seven-foot Chinese daughter who speaks with a Jamaican accent and is six years older than her dad. Something isn't quite right here. And this isn't the only thing that's weird about our solar system. What's missing? Our solar system seems to have some missing parts, while also possessing a few oddities which shouldn't really be present. If it were a wardrobe brought from Ikea, the box would contain half a piece of wood, six cushions, and one of those little umbrellas you put in cocktails. Surrounding our sun, you'll find worlds which are either small and made of rock, or large and made of gas. This isn't normal. Most exoplanetary systems contain planets that are medium-sized, being smaller than Neptune but larger than Earth. Those at the low end are called super-Earths, which means they're rocky worlds bigger than our own. It has nothing to do with them having laser vision. The long-prophesied Planet Nine, said to exist on the fringes of our solar system, is speculated to be a super-Earth. But until we track it down, we cannot be sure it even exists at all. Most exoplanetary systems also contain a lot of sub-Neptunes, gassy worlds larger than super-Earths but smaller than Neptune. Either way, it's rare we find planets that are absolutely tiny or incredibly large by comparison to each other in one single system. And what's even weirder is that many of the worlds we have observed orbit extremely close to their parent star, even closer than Mercury's orbital distance of 59 million kilometers. And you've got all the weird rotations going on in our solar system. In the time Mercury orbits the Sun, it only rotates on its own axis one and a half times. Venus rotates clockwise, whereas the other planets spin anti-clockwise. And Uranus spins on its side while orbiting, resulting in one of its poles pointing towards the Sun most of the time. These oddities may have something to do with the presence of Jupiter and Saturn. Such large planets are not common in the universe, and only 1 or 2 percent orbit at a distance similar to that of Jupiter. Most are found orbiting at positions comparable to that of Earth or Venus. And this points to a possible explanation for our solar system's unusual makeup. Planetary migration. I guess somebody should have built a wall or something. Jupiter-sized planets which closely orbit their parent star are known as hot Jupiters. We believe these planets didn't form in their present position, but instead must have migrated in from elsewhere, either from farther reaches of their own system or another system entirely. In similar fashion, the movement of Jupiter through the solar system could explain why ours is so bizarre. One theory suggests that Jupiter formed closer to the Sun than it sits today, at a distance approximately three times that between Earth and the Sun. The gas outside of Jupiter's orbit first pushed it closer towards the Sun, but then Saturn came along, white knighting the ever-encroaching Jupiter by disrupting the gas and preventing it from copping a feel. Jupiter stopped one and a half Earth distances out from the Sun, also known as 1.5 astronomical units. At this point, the gas within Jupiter reacted to the gas outside it and pushed the planet back outwards, eventually settling for its current spot at 5.2 astronomical units out. Another theory which piggybacks on this idea suggests that Jupiter's dramatic cosmic dance resulted in the destruction of any potential super-Earths clearing the way for a regular-sized Earth to form in their place. And when life began on terra firma, the presence of two gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn may have been crucial in preventing large objects from colliding with our planet. At least, it prevented most large objects from colliding with us. The dinosaurs kind of lucked out on that front. So if Jupiter and Saturn perform this job in our solar system, might other gas giants do the same elsewhere? leading to the prevalence of life-forming conditions on distant exoplanets? According to several studies, yes. And we're going to explore this idea in our bonus video, Hot Jupiters, the Beacons of Life, which you can access at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows.
If you don't want to donate, uh, bull****. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth. To give you that sense of awe and wonder again. To go past what you thought was the end. To give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.